On a sunny autumn day in March 1983, Charles and Diana touched down at the Williamtown RAAF base before being driven to Newcastle's International Sports Centre where more than 40,000 school children were waiting. The children had arrived in hundreds of buses from all over the Hunter region. The excitement spilled over as the royal couple arrived and NBN's Ray Deneen and Kay Duffy hosted the telecast. And there's a deafening roar from the children, a deafening cheer of welcome. Taken the prince's breath away, but later the princess looks absolutely delighted. And aboard that chocolate brown Land Rover? Straight into the Land Rover. They're not wasting any time. They want to be with the children as quickly as possible. And beautiful pictures we have. We must just explain for the uh, school children watching who uh, are unlucky not to be here today that the truck which is preceding the Royal Land Rover is absolutely packed with media representatives, cameramen and photographers from the world media because it's not just Newcastle, it's not just New South Wales, it's not just Australia, but the whole world is watching us today. Fact, ten international journalists or photographers on that truck, along with ten Australian media representatives. In the crowd too, as well as all the uh, very happy and enthusiastic and lively children you see, some, a group of handicapped children have been given pride of place. And in fact, uh, I'm sure they will be delighted to be here as part of the group, seeing the Prince and Princess of Wales today. Absolutely thrilling. It's a day, Kay, that they will remember the rest of their lives. And there's a wider view, which just shows you the immense excitement, the, the movement, the colour, the vitality. It really is an exciting morning. It's hard to imagine that some of these children have been up since 3 o'clock this morning. Yes, I think their tiredness is being forgotten, at least for the moment. There may be some very sleepy heads in the, in the buses and trains going home. The princess's skirt there, but How she's would you always describe in that? Okay, I, I find it indescribable. It's, it's lovely. But how does a woman see the princess today? How does a woman see her? Well, she always appears to me to be very elegant and regal, and this dress has that lovely fairy tale atmosphere about it as well, the very pretty puffed sleeves and then held in tight at the waist. It really is a delightful dress and I'm sure one that uh, will creep into the fashion scene here in Australia too. The pink is just beautiful and perfect on this sunny day. After everyone had seen Charles and Diana up close, Meriwether High School captain at the time, Alison Watkins, gave the official welcome. Your Royal Highnesses. We thank you very much for being with us here today. It is with both pride and joy that we, the students of the Hunter region of New South Wales, extend to you a very hearty Australian welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for giving us such a warm welcome to Newcastle. Thank you. The visit was only nine months after Diana had given birth to Prince William and the students took delight in performing for the former nursery school teacher. Come on everybody and swing your arms, swing your arms, swing your arms. Although seeming a little shy, Diana appeared to enjoy the event, sharing some candid moments with the prince. And then almost as quickly as they'd arrived, they were off leaving an indelible memory in the minds of the 40,000 students who were there.